Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you might be in time and space. Kenny is here, early morning, 712, Colorado Springs. Cheers. First nice cup of coffee. All right. So, visual flight planning in uh, Sky Vector and Bing. And if you are going to... Um, well, let me start out by saying it's a shame that this historic achievement at the moment doesn't have visual flight maps that are as historic or on par with the new Microsoft Flight, flight Simulator 2020. And maybe somebody's working on that. The developer said there's 700 partners. And maybe somebody is working on the most historic VFR maps ever to exist in a flight simulator. And uh, Bing is the star of the show. It's Bing that's mapping every, you know, putting all the photo maps on everything. And, the, you know, it's using Bing for data. But yet the main menu world map doesn't have the roads, the major highways, obstacles. It doesn't have Bing landmarks. It's not using Bing in on the world map, and I don't understand. Now, if you go to a flight school, they're going to say, well, we didn't have Bing. Uh, we had visual flight rules maps. And we're going to make you learn how to read these maps. And you're going to like it. And so they want you to learn how to read these maps to plot your uh, visual flights. Okay. They're not as scary as they seem. And... Uh, Usually on the sides of these, if you go up here to to uh, charts and you pull up your state, over on the side, you'll get all the information, the legend, how to read these things. You'll get a bunch of information for your, uh, for your state, frequencies. You'll get a whole bunch of information, elevation information. But there's visual... Things printed on the map to indicate where towers are, where roads are, where highways are, and we need that. Okay, let me get back to Colorado Springs. Now I've lost myself. Do 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 do. That's close enough. Okay, so here we're flying towards Colorado Springs, and well, we were. The plane is now spinning sideways. Hang on a second. Let me just pause. Okay, so I'm gonna turn him down. We really don't need to hear him right now. So, um, you know, we, we're coming around here and we're gonna follow I-25 down here to Pueblo. Let's say this is what they want us to do. We need to come down to Pueblo, find some markers on here like towers. Hey, there's a tower. You know. There's the airport, past the airport, find this wind tower. There's a wind tower right there, okay? And maybe along here, um, we can start following Highway 50. If it edges out like you, uh, edges out like this, to where you, it doesn't slide over and you run out of map, it's because we're still in chart mode. We're not in world mode. You need to come back over here and click on the world VFR, and that will bring the whole world back up. There are other maps we can get to in a minute. Okay, so as we follow along here, you know, there's another tower, there's a tower. The road's going to curve around this way. It's got uh, streams, rivers. Um, it's going to have a lot of other things depending on where you live. You're going to find all kinds of neat things on these 
visual flight rules maps. Dams and bridges and structures and you can there's a lot of neat things on these maps that you can use to reference as you're flying around. But that's before they had things like Bing maps, right? So now you can use something like this. I mean, what's nothing's stopping you. Okay, so I know that we're out here somewhere. And I wanted to get to I-25. And there it tells me, hey, I-25. Why the in-game map isn't doing the same thing and putting all this information and with overlay filters. Okay, and as I travel down, look, now you can identify the tops of buildings. Like, I'm going to be looking for a building that looks like that. Hey, look at this strange thing i mean what what the hell is going on here but i know if i'm passing that i'm going in the right direction oh look is that a speedway a racetrack like yeah there's a racetrack over here so as i'm traveling down i-25 yeah i already know that i'm going over i-25 but for whatever reason i didn't hey if I passed a racetrack and it's on my right side, then, hey, I'm doing great. So you can now look at Bing Maps for all these other little visual points in a, in a landscape for visual reference. And that's the nuts and bolts of visual flying. And we're not using any instruments. They're going to have you look at a map like that. And they're going to say, can you identify landmarks and things on this map and fly a plane along, you know, following this stuff? Like a whole bunch of wind towers, you know. Head towards Pueblo, and if you pass the wind towers, you've gone too far. Well, there's all the wind towers. Or wherever this area is. You get my point, though, right? That's what they're going to have you do. That's visual flight rules planning in a nutshell noob to noob you know so uh that is that so if uh, i unpause this now and i head towards i-25 if i'm where i'm do 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 no i didn't copy do 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 So first I have to find I-25, and I think that could be it, but maybe not. That could be 85, 87. Let me pan around a little bit. Yeah, right in front of me, that's 85, 87. And then over here, the next big one, that's a big intersection, right? Off our port side. So now we're turning south on I-25. And just down the roadways, we're probably going to run into that really strange tank structures of colored goo, whatever that stuff is. And we know we're going to find a racetrack out here somewhere. I'm overspeeding. And my encoder is overloading. I've got to figure out what I'm doing wrong. And then YouTube does not like what I've been uploading. It's been taking forever to to process anything. So uh, I've been fiddling all last night with like different video settings. And I just, this isn't the computer for, for 4K. I can do it, but it's just astronomical. And then it takes forever to upload. Then it takes forever to process. It's so like to do one video, it's an all day thing waiting for it to get up there. And it's like, wow, that's... I can't, I don't even have a video card worthy of even bothering doing 4K. So I could show you the best I can do at 4K, but that's fantastic. I don't know if you could hear that, but. So, yeah, visual flight rules flying. Using maps and landmarks 
to uh, plot your way around. And that that's really it. Looking forward to... I know it's up here, for sure. That little speedway, it's not too far. So if you want to stick around to see the speedway, cool. If not, hey, hope you got something from this. And, uh, yeah. Oh, I said I was going to show you the other maps real quick. Let me do that real fast. These are the, if you're now going to move up to in-flight rules and you're like, well, can Sky Vector do anything else? Yes, it can. Check this out. World Low. There's all the Victor Airways. There's World High. All the, I don't know what they call these. I don't think these are Victors anymore. They call them, they're J's. I don't know what this one's called. James Airways. Either way, if you're going to start moving up to instrument flight flying, these are the maps for all that. So, do, 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 do. Hope you enjoy. Let's find our speedway. Hopefully, we didn't pass it already. No, I don't think so. I think that's the power plant over there. So it should be coming up, coming up soon. Uh, did I get off track? Is that I-25? I think that was that big white building we were looking for. So yeah, just like that. Just I was looking over and I got off course and now I'm off I-25 and I got to get back on the I-25. That looks like those vats of strange goo we were looking at. Yeah, and there's some of those other, there's other pits right down there. Get my zoom on. You see the pits of goo, whatever it was? What, well, I don't know what this stuff is. But there's the ones we were looking at. And I'm like, oh, what's it? oh, come on, behave. I was looking at these going, what, what are those? What, what is in those? There's the speedway. Yeah, redlining. Can't drive 55, man. Just kidding. All those cars there are not to see whatever's going on at the speedway. They actually built it and spent millions of dollars on it, and then they kind of closed it. That's not the best. It's Bing is definitely not doing the best job of uh, auto-jetting, and it's not doing anything. It's completely flat. It's not showing the speedway right. And I wish it was. I wish it, it was still, since Bing is the superstar, why it's not really showing me, oops, you know, why doesn't it, look as clean as Bing. Can it? Oh, anyway, all those cars that are over there. Um, when Volkswagen had their their recall, they had a huge Volkswagen dealership in town. And uh, they sent all the Volkswagens over there. So that's what they're doing Park, These Bing maps are old. And that lot was filled up for a long time, and they, they finally shipped them all back to Germany or someplace now. So that's it. That's uh, visual flight planning with the visual flight rules map and sky vector and bing. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed that. Go figure out what uh, the next video is going to be, be about. If you have any suggestions, things that you're struggling with, let me know. If I've made any mistakes and you want to correct me, please correct me. If you want to post your own video links and like, hey, you guys, you noobs, you're, you're missing some stuff. You need to check out my videos on this. Please post them. Use my comment boxes to uh, post links to your training videos. If you're a noob too and you want to demonstrate that, hey, I'm learning this stuff, and now I'm ready to talk about it. 
it, that's part of the training process is being able to explain it. So you might be thinking, I'm not a pilot. I'm not a, I'm just somebody who's trying to learn all this stuff. Good. Well, part of the process of demonstrating that you were, that you've learned it is to try to explain it to another noob like me. So have fun. You know, it doesn't matter if you're a super pro, you're, you're trying to learn and, and uh, pass on the information. So also, if, again, just as they say, if you like it, put a like on it. And uh, if you like the way I've explained things and you want to keep going with uh, our little journey, then subscribe. And I'm creating and posting like mad. This morning I've already had three bungles and I should have had the coffee first. Because I did an Airbus tour where I took off and even just with all this basic noob knowledge, it took off in the Airbus, flew it around down to Pueblo, circled around, went back and landed at Colorado Springs manually. Just using the information that we've learned in the videos that I put up and not knowing any more about an Airbus or I can't really remember any more about using the Airbus to do more than just fly it manually and try to land it manually. But it was a success. But I screwed up something at the end and it kept the sky, map, sky vector map up. Right now everything should be doing flawless transitions as I move between things. I've figured that out finally. And... Uh, so I had to ditch that video and I've already made two other videos and I screwed up those. Something didn't really come out right. So I've ditched those. So I've been trying to make videos like mad, but one step forward and two steps back, you know? So if there's something you want uh, me to make a video on, please let me know and I'll uh, keep trying to crank them out and uh, knock out a whole bunch of these. Do, 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 do. This has been uh, Kineas. That's my forum name in the Microsoft forums, Kineas2020, and that's the little picture that I use. So you'll know that's me. And uh, this has been uh, Visual Flight Planning with Skyvector and Bing.